Hi, it's Kim. Uh, we're gonna attempt to uh, take our house plants in today. I'm using a new tripod for full disclosure, so um, we'll see how the video goes. The first thing I usually like to do is to give them a haircut. As you can see, the most, um, there's really only two things I have to worry about coming in, bringing into the house are spiders. You can see I've got a spider's web here and snakes. Now we do not have any poisonous snakes, so I don't um, have to worry about getting bitten or anything of that sort, but I'm just not a huge fan of snakes and I don't really know about one just crawling around in my house wherever it wants to go. So, um, <laughs> as you can see, they just grow like crazy, like all underneath the stand here. So, I'm just going to chop them off. They'll grow again. I don't know if that was in the camera or not. I just chopped the ends off. Let's see here if I can get out. Okay, now and toss them over over here. They, uh, by the water trough, they, uh, that lots of times becomes my compost seep. You don't necessarily have to cut the bottoms off. I just do because where I'm putting them in my house is in the master bath and um, they tend to hang down. I don't have anything I grow them up. I have shelves on the wall, so they tend to grow down into the bath. So, so I cut them off more than once a year. I know some would find that a shame because it's kind of the goal, I guess, maybe. I like them to be thick too, though. I don't like them to, you can see I'm cutting a fair amount off there. The top plants up there probably don't need it. They're, uh, I'd love to tell you all the names, but I don't know all the names. All just purchased at like uh, your big box store. A couple were given to me. thought this would be easier with a tripod, but I'm not so sure. That's very stringy crazy about that one. It does have a lot of air roots. I don't know. 
tempted to cut that one clean off. And yes, you could cut these off. I could stick them back in the pot and um, replant it. But let's have a look. Down in here, and the reason I mentioned snakes and spiders is because in the past, that's what I've dealt with. And the snake was actually living down in the pot, and it was very obvious. So I'm looking for this um, stringy. has a long stretch without sleeves without leaves sorry I think I'm gonna cut it off we'll see what happens maybe it'll grow some something new so no snakes in that pot or that pot that pot's a little crowded, I would think, on the smaller side. And then nothing in that pot. So the next thing I'll do is anything that... I keep them in those plastic containers to prevent... Um, too much water damage on that uh, little end table that I use. Pull this, get it unstuck. They, like, they like to grow around each other. Through the birdhouse. gonna lie some years I've brought them in in a hurry and didn't really worry I mean other than the snakes didn't really check the bugs so much but trying to get this one untangled. Don't really know why I feel the need to get it untangled, but I kind of like to look at the air roots on that one. Kind of like them. I like to feel like when I bring it in in the fall, it's getting a fresh start. Maybe it's not possible. Maybe I'll have to do it when it's hanging up in the master bath. Because of all those air roots and new growth. And this one's pretty thick. I try to pick all the dead leaves off. If I've handled it all pretty well, it's less likely that there's bugs on it that I'm going to bring into the house. That's the concern with bringing your summer plants outside is in the fall, bringing uh, something inside. 
that you don't want in your house. Okay. Now some people spray them down real good with a hose and let them dry out. But I'm just gonna call that one good. And it can, I'm gonna set it on the stair here where it's, where we know it's ready to go in. The amaryllis are pretty easy because there's really no place for anything to hide in there. I will, if I'm going to repot, this is when I will repot them. I really prefer terracotta pots um, for just healthier plants, it seems, overall. They get um, bigger, healthier, and I like how the terracotta pots age with the uh, on the sides of them. So this one could definitely use repotting. Um, you don't want to pot them too big, just one size up. But that, as you can see, has got two babies growing off of it. One there one there and that i believe is a uh, fox glove so that one will get put into a terracotta pot i'll have to check downstairs to see if i have one an extra laying around all right my um christmas cactus which i think is actually a thanksgiving cactus is actually trying to bloom outside and I know it's got spider webs so I'm planning on dunking this in the water tank giving it a good wash to make sure all the spiders get off of it give it a little bit of a swirl Just trying to get wash as much of the cobweb off of it here. Wash all the cobweb off of it. Make sure there's no spiders hanging out, hanging on. Again, we don't have any lethal spiders here. Most things are smart enough to know not to live in zone 4B with uh, excessive snow in a snow belt off of Lake Ontario. So, all right, got that one pretty uh, cleaned up. That one can go on the stairs. drip and dry out here before we take it in. 
I set those amaryllis there the other day when it was cold. Um, that plant looks, uh, lame in my opinion. It's, uh, it likes to get, it grows kind of stringy. I think it's a pothos. So it's easy to grow, but I like plants to be thick like that one. But I keep it around. That one looks like it's in pretty good shape. It does need some watering, but I will wait until we go inside, till I take it inside so I don't drip water through the house. Then this one. It's actually the one that had the snake last year. No snake. Doing very well. Don't see any spider webs or anything going on with that one. Overall looking very healthy. This is one that um, closes up, curls up at night. Might be something to do with praying hands or something. I don't know. It does have a dead leaf there I could take off. My clippers. It's kind of depressing because my uh, front porch is going to look uh, empty until next. Spring. Of course, I'll take the plastic bins and clean them out. And... Should uh, get a look at how I've got the bins arranged. Lots of times these videos are for my own memory as well. pretty good as well. Oh, I do have another house plant in here in my window box. Just have it wedged down in the dirt sitting there. Dirt looks pretty good. It was my overflow piece for that box spill the spiller it's got some uh as you can see it's front heavy so i will have to uh prop it in the house as well so it doesn't fall over and my spider plant here which is last that one's heavy. So that one's going to stay right there until I actually carry it in. It's got some spider webs, so I'm going to need to dunk it too. So I might need my husband's help for the dunking of the spider plant. We'll see. All right, next step is to get them all inside. 
and I'll show you that process when I'm done. So there you have it. They are all in for the winter. Nothing left on the front porch. I just have cleanup to do and um, that's it. I still do have the big window box to look at minus its little front center piece there. But um, starting to wrap things up. Hope you all have a great day. See you soon. Bye.